Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with a complex number and its complex conjugate. So pretty complex, right? So we have 1 over z plus 1 over z bar equals 4 and z bar is the complex conjugate. So how do you define the complex conjugate? When you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, you get a real number. When you add them, you get a real number. And that number should be unique, right? If you think about it. So even though this channel is called A plus BI, we're going to have to sacrifice on that name a little bit and set Z equal to X plus YI. Because this is kind of like a locus problem. And, I'm, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. You'll find out. So z is equal to x plus yi, or you could use a plus bi, but always make the conversion to x and y at the end. z bar is the conjugate, which is actually uh, obtained by changing the sign of the imaginary part. Make sense? Just negate y. And don't ask why. So now here's what I have. 1 over x plus yi plus 1 over x minus yi equals and don't ask why we are doing this problem. Well, if you do, then I'm going to tell you, hey, just for fun. Okay, don't take it too seriously. Anyway, so how do you simplify this? Make a common denominator or use conjugates. Actually, they are the same because these are conjugates. So multiply by x minus yi here and here. Oops, I should probably use it this way. And here as well, x plus yi and x plus yi. In other words, we made a common denominator. The numerator becomes x minus yi plus x plus yi. Nice. The denominator from difference of two squares becomes a sum of two squares, which is kind of funny, right? Because i squared is negative 1. Something that you should never ever forget. You may forget everything, but don't forget i squared equals negative 1. So this is equal to 4, and we can cancel out yi, and then x plus x is 2x, nice, and x squared plus y squared equals 4. Now, you can do however you want, but I like cross-canceling. 2 goes into 4 twice, and this gives us, after cross-multiplication, x equals 2x squared plus 2y squared. But let me go ahead and write the quadratic terms first, because they are of a higher power, right? Literally. So 2x squared plus 2y squared is equal to x. And what is this, right? This is an equation. And definitely this is what I meant by locus because we can basically graph this relation, graph this relation, and that's going to give us basically the set of complex numbers that satisfy the original equation. So is there more than one? Well, we got to be a little careful here because we may not even have any solutions, right? Sometimes we end up with none. So, but here's what we're going to do. Divide everything by 2 because I want to get the coefficients of x squared and y squared to 1. I want to bring them to 1. And on the right-hand side, I'm getting 1 half x. And then if I bring over the 1 half over, uh, to the left, guess what this is? This is a circle. Yes. Isn't that awesome? This is just a circle, and we're going to write this in the more standard circle form. To do that, we need to complete the square. So how do you do that? Let me give you the trick. It's really important to know if you're studying analytical geometry somehow, or learning about conic sections, for example. Um, you're going to take the coefficient of x and cut that in half, or in other words, divide by 2, which gives you 1 fourth, and then you square that number, that's the number you should add to complete the square. So I do need to add 1 over 16, and guess what that gives me? If I add 1 over 16 to both sides, and of course you have to add it on both sides, be very careful about that, you do get a perfect square here, and that is x minus 1 over 4 squared. Obviously, you can tell by the term you're adding, and you can always check with the formula, right? All right. Great, so this is our circle, and if you remember, the formula uh, for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, h comma k being the center of the circle, 
and r being the radius of the circle make sense so this is the standard form and by using this formula you can kind of identify the center and the radius for this circle what do you think well the center is one fourth comma zero because y squared is just alone so center will be one fourth comma zero and the radius would be one fourth you have to be careful make sure to square root this of course the positive square root to find the radius what happens if the radius is zero there's no circle it's just a dot okay or a point we should say so what does this mean though this just means that the complex numbers that satisfy our equation all appear to be on a circle in other words all points on the circle are solutions which circle are we talking about this particular circle whose equation we just found by completing the square let's go ahead and take a look at some results from wolfram alpha yes when i enter this on wolfram alpha just use the conjugate of z for the prompt and it usually uses a kind of like a z star notation and it gave me the solution a bunch of other ones but they were not very helpful and anyways i just wanted to share with you i know some people are very defensive with wolfram alpha like how come wolfram alpha can't find the solution so on and so forth in this case it couldn't find the general solution or the circle equation maybe my prompt was uh, misleading whatever doesn't matter uh, who cares so here's our circle as you can see uh, that's the center and that's one of the points that i marked for you where did i get that from two plus root two right well i just uh, replace x and y with something one of the things that i did was i thought okay what about setting this equal to 1 over 32 because then i would need another 1 over 32 to make 1 over 16 make sense that's where i got these weird numbers from but guess what 1 over 4 comma 0 is also a solution but wait a minute aren't we talking about complex numbers what does the 1 over 4 comma 0 mean it just means that it is actually uh, 1 over 4 comma 0 basically means that it is a complex number that you can write as a real number right so and that would have uh, that would basically be uh, something like this or if you think about this number you would write it as 2 plus root 2 over 8 okay here's one thing that I forgot to mention probably this is my x and this is my y so now this can be written as 2 plus root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 8 by the way that's an 8 not a 2 this is an 8 times I. So that will be one of the solutions, but obviously there are infinitely many solutions. All solutions are going to be on the circle. Make sense? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to com comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And I forgot to, I made a mistake. This is not on the circle. This is the center. And bye-bye.